family welcome to the channel i hope you beautiful people are having yourself a wonderful day in today's video guys we'll be reacting to another tni video this video was suggested by rudy terma Kese. thank you very much shukran and mercy for taking the time to send me a recommendation and a suggestion uh, this video is by uh, parajurit and the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to uh, check it out so inshallah we'll get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video i'll be sharing with you my observation and reactions so please make sure you stay until the end with that said now let's get started with our video yang terbesar dalam sejarah kita untuk tingkat latihan di Amerika. Looks recent with all the masks that everybody's wearing. It's pretty cool. Even their mask is camouflaged. Sebanyak wow. 125 prajurit Brigade Infanteri, para Rider 18 Divisi Infanteri 2 Kostrad sukses melaksanakan latihan bersama Joint Readiness Training Center antara US Army dan TNI AD. Latihan tersebut berlangsung di Fort Pollock, Louisiana, Amerika Serikat. King Cobra again, huh? <laughs> Pada misi di latihan itu, personel oh. Brigif 18 di Fifth 2 Kostrad melakukan hal yang tak terduga, yaitu mengajari prajurit Amerika cara bertahan hidup di hutan, dengan cara makan makanan apa adanya, seperti hewan liar ular dan sebagainya, yang like membuat para prajurit together, Amerika like terkejut like dengan aksi para Raider like TNI like Indonesia itu. Ah, Pasukan AS awalnya terlihat agak geli. Tapi akhirnya mereka mencoba mencicipi sejumlah botani dan hewani yang telah dicontohkan terlebih dulu oleh peserta dari TNI Indonesia. Latihan bersama ini bertujuan untuk menguji kemampuan perorangan prajurit hingga skala tingkat berjet dalam melaksanakan gelar kesiapan operasi di daerah strategis terpilih. Fort Pollock, Louisiana dipilih sebagai daerah latihan karena representatif mewakili gambaran daerah misi secara umum yang sangat kompleks. American soldiers. Pada saat melakukan misi operasi, TNI AD oh, melakukan skill dalam mengendarai tank dengan sangat memukau. TNI menunjukkan keahlian dalam memutar tank dan teknik mengendarai tank dalam medan tempur dalam situasi apapun. Oh. Aksi yang dilakukan TNI diakui pasukan Amerika yang melihat oh, saat TNI sangat tank. mahir dalam mengoperasikan tank. Wow. They didn't even feel anything like on top of the tank and they just ran over a car. <laughs> Subhanallah, they just went over all those cars and it was just like going over a bump for, for a car basically. Look at that. Barely anything. Wow, all the cars are smashed. Look at this. A poor BMW. <laughs> Program Joint Readiness Training Center atau latihan gabungan untuk menjalin persahabatan itu menjadi yang paling utama bersama dengan US Army. Kita bisa mempelajari apa yang baik dari US Army, dari segi pembinaan latihan, atau dari segi pembinaan kesatuan, pangkalan, dan lain sebagainya, sehingga nanti bisa kita terapkan di satuan jajaran yang ada di TNI American Angkatan Army. Darat. Oh. Jitsu. 
Oh, those coasters are huge. Oh, this is night great. Yeah. This is when they throw the uh, flares, a lot of them, so kind of brightens the the area, so then they can see it even at night time. Training to be able to, I guess, land in small little areas, or I guess, drop soldiers in a, a village, small little houses. Not only I guess they have to be quick, but at the same time, whoever goes down first, they also have to um, kind of make sure protect the rest of the guys that are coming down, right? In case there is enemies on the ground that are shooting at them or shooting at the helicopter. shooting, not sure if it's live rounds or it's like rubber bullets. Oh, terrorist. Jungle's up. Oh. oh. Wow. Launching artillery. I thought I was going to do a flip, I'm like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Attack helicopter, there you go. As I say this, it starts shooting. <laughs> wow. The blaze of the helicopter is painted Indonesian flag colors, red and white. Oh, there's so many of them. Soldiers and Indonesian soldiers. So, some of the goals for today's exercise was um, to evaluate the uh, leadership potential of uh, potential uh, officer candidates for ROTC, uh, OCS, and the Indonesian Army. We're all here trying to become officers. During the week long exchange, the Indonesian officer candidates participated in training alongside candidates from the UH and Hawaii Army National Guard programs. They reviewed basic squad maneuvers, learned how to load and unload a squad out of a Black Hawk helicopter, and were put through the paces in a culminating three-day training exercise that included various hold-up techniques, operational lanes with attack and counterattack, and a land navigation exercise. So with this training, I definitely gained other ways to do these six lanes. Of course, in OCS and ROTC, we're taught differently. So it was good to see different ways how you can approach um, a lane when you're doing, you know, your op orders and your briefs and everyone's different methods with it. This is Tech Sergeant Andrew Lee Jackson reporting with the Hawaii National Guard.
This was pretty interesting. So this basically showed the Indonesian army to some extent working with the American army, like, you know, training and learning from one another, which is uh, interesting. And I think it's important in any line of work, whether it's army or restaurant or, you know, government and whatnot, it's nice to collaborate with other people because then you kind of share ideas. There's always a more efficient or a better way that somebody's doing something else. So you kind of learn from one another. And, you know, in this case, if, and if there's a conflict ever, for example, where Indonesia ask for American help or America ask for the Indonesian help, they know how to communicate with one another and work, for example, to uh, achieve their mission. So really, really interesting, guys. Thank you very much for suggesting it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like me to react to another video, you can send me your suggestions and put in the comment section below. As always, terima kasih. Thank you very much. Shukran merci for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family, inshallah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Wassalam. Thank you.